one and a half million kilometers from Earth, one month flight to its destination, and no room for mistakes. In December 2021, after years of delay, NASA will launch the largest and most powerful science telescope ever built, James Webb Space Telescope. Launching from Guiana Space Center on South America using Ariane 5 rocket, the telescope will not be in orbit around the Earth, like the Hubble Space Telescope. It will actually orbit the Sun, one and a half million kilometers away, four times farther away from Earth than the Moon, at what is called the Second Lagrange Point, or L2. At L2, exactly lined up with both the Sun and Earth, the added gravity of the two large bodies, pulling in the same direction, gives the spacecraft an extra boost of energy, allowing it to stay in a fixed position relative to the Earth and Sun, locking it into perfect unison with the Earth yearly orbit with a minimum amount of energy needed for course correction. The telescope will be placed slightly off the true balance point in a gentle orbit around L2. Webb primarily observes infrared light, which can sometimes be felt as heat. Because of that, it needs to be shielded from any bright hot sources. This also includes the satellite itself. The sun shield will separate the sensitive mirrors and instruments from not only the sun and earth, but also the spacecraft bus. And in order to do that, these bodies all have to be located in the same direction. The problem with the telescope is that its mirror is too large to fit inside the nose cone of a rocket. It made up of 18 hexagonal segments that fold together for launch and unfold in space, becoming the largest mirror ever flow into space. This is a critical operation. Not only mirror segments must assemble together overall into perfect alignment to give the telescope clear vision. So must other components, including a huge sun shield that must expand to the size of a tennis court to protect the telescope from the sun's heat and glare. If all these components do not unfold with microscopic precision, the whole 10 billion project could be a failure. And even astronauts won't be able to help, like they helped the Hubble telescope. The James Webb is not designed to be serviced or repaired, because it will be out of reach. Hubble is in low Earth orbit, the parking spot L2 is well beyond the reach of human astronauts. In fact, the farthest a human being has ever been from Earth was during the Apollo 13 mission on April 15, 1970, when astronauts passed over the dark side of the Moon approximately 400,000 kilometers from Earth. It will take roughly 30 days for Webb to reach the start of its orbit at L2, but it will take only 3 days to get as far away as the Moon's orbit, which is about a quarter of the way there. Webb's position out at L2 makes it also easy for us to talk to it, unlike Hubble, which goes in and out of Earth's shadow every 90 minutes. Webb will be always at the same location relative to Earth. We can have continuous communications with it, through the deep space network, using three large antennas on the ground, located in Australia, Spain and California. During routine operations, Webb will uplink command sequences and downlink data up to twice per day. The observatory can also perform a sequence of commands autonomously. The timeline goes like this. The Ariane 5 launch vehicle will provide thrust for roughly 26 minutes after liftoff from French Guiana. Moments after second stage engine cut off, Webb will be separated from the Ariane, which will trigger the solar array to deploy within minutes, so that Webb can start making electricity from sunshine and stop draining its battery. Webb will quickly establish its ability to orient itself in space. In the first day, Webb will execute the first and most important trajectory correction maneuver using small rocket engines aboard. It will also deploy the high-gain antenna to enable the highest available rates of data communication. In the first week, there will be a second trajectory correction maneuver, sun shield deployment, including the separation of the spacecraft bus and telescope, the mid-booms extension, the tensioning of the membranes, 
and the deployment of radiators. During the second week, Webb will finish deploying the telescope structures by unfolding the secondary mirror tripod and rotating the two primary mirror wings. The telescope and scientific instruments will start to cool rapidly in the shade of the sun shield, but it will take several weeks for them to cool all the way down to reach stable temperatures. Near the end of the first month, Webb will execute the last maneuver to insert it into the optimum orbit around L2. During this time, it will also power up the scientific instrument systems. The remaining five months of commissioning will be all about aligning the optics and calibrating the scientific instruments. In the sixth month, Webb will finish calibrations and completion of commissioning. And only after six months, Webb will begin its science mission and start to conduct routine science operations. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe and don't forget to check our other videos about Webb Telescope, including its full deployment sequence.